This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash gadget TV. Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin for Gadget TV. First look at Showstoppers at CES 2011. We have on the gadget stage right now the Drobo S model. That is a five bay storage device that uh, the company promises will never fill up and will never break. The reason it never fills up and never breaks is because it works with RAID, which means you can actually span across multiple drives. You can mirror one drive to another. You can have uh, multiple redundancies, multiple striping, all kinds of crazy stuff that you probably don't need to worry about if all you want to do is store your video editing files, your photos, your music, and all that kind of stuff on a reliable drive. So you can see here, on the back of the, uh, the front cover, apparently all you need to understand in order to use this device is your basic traffic signals. Green, everything's going fine. Uh, orange, you're going to need to have a drive soon. Um, red, you have a real problem and that drive needs replacing. Or actually, sorry, red is I need to add a drive here. Red and flashing is uh, you've got some serious trouble and you really need to pull that drive right away and replace it. And each of these will flash individually. So we can uh, put up to a three terabyte drive into any one of these bays. So basically we have up to 15 terabytes of storage if we don't use redundancy. Uh, so basically it's one big 15 terabyte drive. Or we can put multiple three uh, terabyte drives here and assure that even if, say, even if two drives fail, we still have a redundancy of our data and our data is safe. So important if you're working with people's wedding photos or anything like that. Now, if we take a quick look at the back of the device, it is a little heavy. We don't need to worry about that because it really does just sit on your desk. Now, this isn't an, actually a network connected model. Uh, you can see here we have uh, our power port. We have our eSATA, which is a very fast uh, data communication port. We also have FireWire. And unique to this drive is the USB 3.0 connection. So basically, super, super fast transfer if we're equipped with uh, a USB 3. Uh, and they're actually comparable speeds using eSATA or using FireWire. So all, really, all you need to do is turn it on, have your drives in here, and you're good to go. Now, I think I forgot to mention off the top the price on this device, which is uh, kind of important and also kind of high. Uh, it's about $800, $799 to start. Uh, that, that's with no drives. There's also a four drive model um, that doesn't include the USB 3.0. You can get that for $399. So basically, we're getting corporate level server storage, uh, completely dumbed down, completely simple for consumers. And we are hoping to take a closer look at this and evaluate that claim on a future episode of Gadget TV. For Gadget TV, first look at Showstoppers at CES 2011, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. For more sweet stuff, visit Butterscotch.com. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash gadget TV.